today we're gonna do something that I've always dreamed of. I have seen before on Facebook about artificial reef or coral restoration or coral refragmentation, all these type of beautiful things that are surrounded by the ocean. And we're gonna do one of these things today, and that is installing and creating a artificial reef that we're both gonna show you how it's made and then putting it into the water and as well show you the before and after results. So without further ado, I'm gonna roll a small clip how the Sea Explorers and Pure Vita implemented these artificial reef in the water four years ago. And then later, we're gonna dive it and show you the after results. So Rico here is going to show us how he's going to make one of the boxes and they told us there's about 300 of them in the water right now and each one has about 9 to 12 bottles. So basically they're turning trash into artificial reef. Super awesome. Stantuai, what's that? Bacardi, Jim Bean, Bourbon, Otadal. <laughs> Rico, you've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a crazy fact about all the trash in uh, Tumaquete or Necros area. There's no recycling facility. So all these bottles here, they are not recycled. They just get put into a landfilling or something. So technically, this is trash in this part of the world because it's not recycled. So we're using trash as an artificial reef in the water. So that's pretty cool. Final touches. So the final steps, signature. Sorry, my signature is too big. What does it say? Critter. <laughs> I'll just do my pin pin. Pin pin. It's your birthday, so we have to put your signature on here. Stay, 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 stay. Oh! Nice. <laughs> that felt strange. <laughs> what is that? Now, a lot of people might be wondering what is the purpose of these reefs? Are they just there for decoration or do they actually have any purpose here? What do you think? For the fishermen. For the fishermen. Yes, sir. That is exactly what I've been thinking along as well because you can basically see it here right behind us. The fisherman is usually there. It's a little bit choppy now, so they're not fishing anymore. But they're always there. Exactly where the reefs are, where the artificial reefs are. It's actually also the boundary of a sanctuary. So what you have here is the spill-out effect. In the sanctuary, without it, there'll be no fish, guaranteed. There's no fish where there's no sanctuary. So what happens in it, the fish grows, and populates and then there's too many fish so what happens is they migrate out of the reef and that's called the spill out effect and the fishermen they catch those fish so whatever we're doing or they're doing in these artificial reefs it benefits the fishermen the most 
Now that we show you the bottles and how they're made, we're gonna go to Bakong, where we're gonna meet a group of people that are doing a really special project. They're implementing a huge artificial reef into the ocean on a new site that has a lot of sand and they're gonna try to turn that into a beautiful reef system. So let's go to Bakong and show you guys that. Hi, Hi. 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 <laughs> All right, we arrived at the second destination in Bakong where we're gonna plan. Wow, it's a lot of people. That's awesome. Hey, Budak. Hey, boss. <laughs> oh, we're late. They're already having a speech. In appreciation of your support and your interest in the welfare of the marine life in our community. We are so lucky today that we're able to witness one of these events because obviously this is not a everyday type of thing. So the plan is they're taking the artificial reef on those floating bamboos and we'll be going around 18 meters where there's already a tires and a small jeepney underwater. And these are going to be planted around that area. So hopefully in uh, coming months or year it's going to be fully grown, lots of fish and just awesome uh, marine life. And that's the beauty of Necros with the black scent. I, I don't know what it is, but it's the nutrition that is in this water. It just everything explodes with the life when they can start forming life. And these artificial reefs are gonna help the marine life to grow and start up. For your effort and your time, your sacrifice for this project. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we are all divers here. You all know all your basic diving, so I don't have to worry about of course, safety is the number one priority. First three igloos are in the water, so now they have to come and pick up the rest of them. Once they're all in the water, we put our gear on and we go in there and we try to stack them up in a triangle shape. So you see three at the bottom and one at the top. That's the shape we have to do underwater, so we bring a bamboo stick with us, put it through. Oh, there you go. Exactly like that. They're demonstrating now. There you go. Jesus. That's heavy. <laughs> that looks heavy. We gotta do that underwater. But of course, when you're underwater, it's gonna be slightly lighter. It still looks heavy. Ooh. These guys are strong. Wow. Alex. Hello. You know how heavy it is? Yeah, this is 65 to uh, 70 uh, kilos. Oh my god, that's gonna be heavy underwater. Yeah, but <laughs> more more or less in, in, in underwater. Okay. Because if you leave it up in the in the beginning a little bit harder, but if you really up a little bit, it's already okay. So we should be able to do it. No problem. No problem. Okay. I think we're gonna use a lot of air, like lifting yeah. and working yeah. underwater. We we never work underwater. Yeah. But uh, probably. Sometimes, if you can, I have the lip bug there. I can put a rope and then put the ear. Ah, smart! And then a little bit higher, then we can lead up more. It's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. maybe try. Clever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now this cement here is not a regular cement like you see in houses or walls with hollow blocks. It's a hydraulic cement, which means it can thrive underwater. This is the cement you want to use for artificial reef. It both, Marilla and both, attaches to it more easily and stays on it for longer periods of time while the regular cement, it kind of disintegrates over time. So this one is gonna last who knows how long. Now when you look at it for the first time, you might be wondering why is it not flat? Why is it not smooth? Why is it looks like it's not very well made? Because it's intentional. What they're doing here is with more patches of holes and scraps, the marine life is gonna attach to it more easily. If it's smooth and flat, growth is not gonna attach to the artificial reef easily. So this is 
intentional and it's good for the marine life. So this is awesome. I've been a part of a lot of artificial reef like building or planting. Uh, in Dahab, Egypt, uh, a, a dive resort sponsored these massive Egyptian statues like a sphinx and elephants and stuff. And we set them in the water. It was a huge ordeal. Like the whole village had to come out and drag them because it's made out of cement and steel. And we actually did the same thing uh, to build these statues like the elephant. They took car doors and bumpers and all kinds of scrap they found. And anyways, I went there a few years later and it's just like here, we put it in a sandy area with nothing going on. And there's just reef, I mean, there was lionfish, turtle, like everything just on these statues. It was insane. And then there's all this runoff, you know? There's like these hard corals on the sides of this platform. And then because of that, it kind of branched out. There's more and more. So it wasn't even just around the reef, it was insane. That's a good point. In a lot of these places where there's only sand, the corals has a really tough time establishing a base. So with the artificial reef, the coral system is able to expand across the sandy bottom. So this might be a starting point for a beautiful reef system. Now that we've shown how they make the bottles and how we put the reef in Bakong, we're back at Pura Vida where we're gonna dip into the water and show you guys the final results what artificial reef can do here in the Philippines. We've already been there of course, but we're gonna show it in this video how spectacular the reef is now. So let's jump in the water and show you what the end results are. And after four years, the bottles are covered in corals and plenty of fish around. And even large sea fans have made their home among the bottles. Well, first, Chris is going to demonstrate a similar technique to a coral refragmentation. Just like planting trees, we grab a small branch and put it into the bottle. In a matter of a few months, this is going to grow into a big sea fan, which is going to protect a lot of small fish to be able to grow. And here's a montage of all the artificial reefs around Pura Vida Dive Resort, which now have some of the best marine life I've seen around Darwin. 